Next, uh, you know, we're bringing up Wayne Adams, who, who's walking. Uh, Wayne Adams, who's walking over. So, you know, Wayne. Wayne is a fixture at this show. As I said, it's my first SNW. But when I worked at EMC, it's every year I talk to Wayne about what's going on. Wayne, right. we're live. Come hey, on down. Wait, can have I have a seat. Your party Come here. on in. No, no, no. We're inside we are the queue. Your, your party. party. Oh, you, so. did, oh you, don't, you didn't pay admission, <laughs> you guys. No, no, no. We've got, <laughs> got my badge and everything. Uh, we, need, so. we need a uh, business card if you have one. Do you he, have he, one? He's got the name. You're all set. You're all. Right? You get the name. Wayne Adams. Snia. S N I A. I depopulate my. Pockets, so I would have looked yeah. fatter than I really so Wayne, we have John Furrier. <laughs> okay. Appreciate it. Good. This is our cube, the cube. The We're cube. inside the cube here, and uh, this is a uh, an event based commentary program we run. It's about acquiring knowledge, and we're here uh, talking about your show. Sure. And I uh, wanted so, to so, talk so, more so about Wayne, it. One of the interesting questions we've had, as I said, my first SNW, believe it mm-hmm. or not, uh, and you know the, the shows ha- had up years and down years and ins and outs. So you know, in, in that whole thread, I, I heard you this morning talking about it. So maybe you can j- just share kind of you know where are we with the state of the show? Well, you know, big picture, the show got launched in 1999. It was a big transition of coming out of. Um, you know, the SCSI cabling environment and getting into fiber channel hubs and then eventually fiber channel SANS. And so there needed to be a trade conference to uh, bring the market education up so we could uh, start adoption. And so, you know, uh, there's been a lot of change since then that, you know, there's many topics that we cover mm-hmm. now, everything from solid state to green and so forth. Um, what we've seen. And now is, cloud, a big, you know, a lot of the feedback in the, on the Twitter sphere and blogosphere is a lot of cloud yeah. conversations. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Snee has yeah. a good story there. And we'll, we'll, we'll uh, we're, we're, we're here with the cloud. Division. Uh, we, we launched a specification last uh, April of 2010. We got good traction over last year with reference implementations. NIST has picked it up with their SAJAC program. Uh, we're we're uh, uh, getting ready to uh, become a member of ISO so we can take that specification there. Um, just uh, yesterday, Mezio, a, a company, one of the members of SNEA, uh, launched a, uh, their product that includes the standard in it, so first cur- commercial implementation of that. we got uh, PlugFest that are planned later this month uh, for interoperability around the standard. So SNEA has been doing a lot to uh, t- carve out the uh, subset of infrastructure as a service called data storage as a service, and what's the standard interface for that. So, 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 so Wayne, I, I couldn't help notice that innovation seems to be a big theme here. Yes. Uh, you had Waz talking about it yesterday. You had the guy from IDEO. Yeah. I heard yeah. real good things about, uh, and uh, you've, you've got the whole innovation pavilion in here. So how, how do we make sure that we've got like innovation and not just buzz about it? Well, we're sitting in Silicon Valley. That's where innovation and a heart, uh, heartbeat of part Sitting of in the cube, is. man. This it's is the cube. cube. We're sitting <laughs> inside, inside the, the cube. cube. Innovation <laughs> right here. <laughs> right. Innovation inside right. innovation. Yeah. It's like a whole inception <laughs> thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> So uh, we did pick the theme. Uh, so about three years ago, we started working on themes per show. So yep. that's typical in some yeah. conferences. But Storage it's Networker World up until then didn't, didn't have that. So when we've come to Silicon Valley, it's like there's innovation. There's the venture uh, you know, uh, capital community that's in here that invests in emerging technology. And the storage so, business is innovating right now. I mean, it, you know, the perception uh, of Stor- SNW is it's a big industry show with a lot of heavyweights, established players, and a lot of new stuff's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, you, so, you, so you one of the key that, performance yeah. indicators I look at it from a, the Storage Networking Industry Association to say is how much VC money is still going out there to, to underwrite these activities. I know there's private funding out there too, so a lot of times you can say, well, let's look at IDC data or Gartner data to say, well, that's the adoption rate or the ship rate, but then there's that, what's that front end of the pipeline and, and, and what is the yeah. key performance? We just heard from a startup that got $10 million do. just now, we just had on, on earlier, yeah. just prior to but, you. But but there is a firm that does track you know where VC funding goes and how much goes into high tech. You know, So a few years ago, there's a big shift of things out of high tech moved into um, biotech and then there was another shift that went into uh, green technology like uh, for green energy but not necessarily green IT yeah, yeah, yeah. but there's a shift coming back into uh, uh, reinvesting back in uh, IT uh, high tech with uh, venture capital so that you know brings out new innovative ideas and then those become mainstream in a few years you know great so, so we've got money coming back into this uh, <laughs> should have a new hall group of innovation I mean everything from dedupe and flash and cloud and virtualization uh, even big data this morning, uh, you know, I heard some talk about that. So, uh, you know, information is important and it all has to live somewhere. So, yes, yes. So, so, there, yep, so there's a lot of, for example, like, uh, so we talk about salt state, but there's a couple more uh, sets of research that are going on in, in other type of material sciences that, that uh, go beyond what salt state can deliver in terms of what its uh, theoretical uh, limits are for performance yeah. and that. And that, so, you know, what comes out in 2013 through 15 that's going to uh, supplant that and, and be higher performance performance to what we have. So that's yeah, there's no doubt we've seen on SiliconANGLE's coverage uh, of cloud mobile and 
social trends, mega trends, and what Wikibon is uh, producing in research is is storage is the center uh, of the cloud and all these value propositions around mobile. And the changes in storage actually have a direct relation to the growth of other areas. So it's important and really relevant. Yeah. Well, the piece about storage, you know, some would look at the very physical side and say, well, that's boring. It, you know, it's storage, as Dave Vellante would say, it's sexy, right? It would be, <laughs> we called it at EMC World, right? Yeah, was, we had two shows there and asked him, you know, he said, uh, sexy, uh, I don't know. But what was his, his comeback on that was, uh, no, 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 it's, hot. Know, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot and sexy. Hot I'll do, hot and, and hey, sexy. revenue's, revenue's yeah. good. And, yeah. uh, and know, NetApp CEO said, uh, Tom George said, I don't care if it's sexy or hot as long as it's profitable. <laughs> so storage is, is always profitable because you never can get enough of it. But the sexy stuff is what you do with the data and the information. So yeah. you're talking about big data. So you got all those cost points coming yeah. down. And everyone's doing more online analytics, and it's moving into commercial space out of all the scientific space. All right. So that's Dave uh, Vellante's in the house. Hey, Dave. Hey, <laughs> we're live on the. So it looks queue. like I'll be losing my seat in front of the camera real soon. <laughs> so uh, Stu's yeah. doing great. He gave, he's now on the hot, uh, the driving seat. I'm the analyst. He's the uh, co-host, the host. <laughs> oh, he needs a powder his nose. He'll be back in five. Um, we'll, let's, let's run with the show here. Dave's just fresh <laughs> off the plane from Vegas. Um, a lot of activity going on in uh, Vegas. So, uh, so, so, what is the big future for the next next show? Yeah, I saw the the promos for our next um, the next show. So, so uh, do we have a theme yet? Is that announced or no? We haven't. Um, you know, so yes, we're going to go to Orlando. It, it's probably not going to be it's not, not Mickey or Harry Potter's world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Any um, numbers uh, inside no, the numbers here in terms of attendees you can share with the folks out there? Just stats on S and W. Obviously, he's getting some good reviews yeah. out on the blogosphere. Um, cloud yeah. focus is a big trend. We've seen a lot of splash, flash, yeah, SSD so, stuff. What are yeah, the numbers? Yeah, yeah so well, I don't have all the exact uh, numbers necessarily. I know, but uh, pre-reg coming into this event, uh, close to two thousand includes uh, end users, press, media, and the vendor community. Uh, so there's been large uptick in the media. So the last uh, two years, with all the uh, reshuffling that took place in the in the publishing world. World, we saw uh, that community shrink down to around roughly uh, 40 to 60 people coming out of the event. This one we pushed over 80. And, and you know, the, the heydays when there was a lot of print going on, we were well over 100 with uh, the, the people that come in. So, so part of that media includes uh, VC people that come in because they're, they're, they're besides they're looking at the technology, they're, they're talking to people to, to validate that that idea is innovative and people are buying into so, that. So, so, so I, I had one last question for you, Sorry. Wayne, which is, you know, how one of the things I've liked at recent trends of shows is getting to hear from the end users and hear what they're doing, what's working well, the challenges that they had, and how's SNW trying to increase uh, kind of participation of, of the end users in the pavilion in the in the presentations? Well, everything. I mean, you look at the main stage. Yep. Uh, you know, so there's uh, we there's about four or five end users with that's always been a hallmark is that there's always been some C-level type of uh, presentations that are coming out what's the value data and story from a strategic in the bottom line viewpoint not from the uh, bits and bytes in the in the plumbing standpoint that's always been a main stage feature and then you'll go into the breakout tracks uh, that you see you'll see a number of end user case studies that are out there it's like what did I have to do inside of my company to get the justification what was my hurdles and what did I accomplish with doing that so it's not vendors speaking on behalf of the end users and that's always been a hallmark too so yeah. I mean, in the breakout sessions, you, you have that. The other component of the event is uh, the best practice awards. So it's like, okay, well, is it, you can look at how many people are on stage. Well, that's five. What about the the hundred? Is, is it a trend or is it a you know a, they're on, they're on the bleeding edge? And so the best practice awards program is to bring in more evidence that there's adoption and, and people succeeding with it, and rather than bleeding with it. And so that that's what we bring in with that as well. Okay. Great. Good Great. deal. Well, thanks for coming on Side yeah. the Cube. We really Sorry. appreciate it. Uh, thanks for uh, hosting us here. We're happy to be live at SNW, uh, the largest industry show for storage and uh, cloud and uh, all the trends around innovation. Uh, thanks so much uh, for coming well, on. Appreciate well, it. Well, thank you, and uh, enjoy the rest of the event here.